Hello and welcome to the Listening Post's unboxing channel on YouTube. Today I, it's with great pride that I am unboxing a brand new release turntable from Project, their new Classic. Now the Classic has been around for a while, this is their Classic Evo or Evolution. It features a new speed box and a new arm and a few other little wee design uh, tweaks that have lifted the performance of this turntable significantly. So, like any of their better turntables, it comes in a really big box, so you can see it here. Firstly, on one end, it's got uh, the model and serial number information. We tend to get ours pre-fitted, so this one actually includes a 2M black cartridge, which is a really, really nice cartridge. It's, it's right at the top of uh, the 2M range, um, and is a nice match to a quality turntable like this one. Uh, the other information is obviously model and SB telling you about the speed box and it includes a multi-voltage power supply. There's two serial numbers and then there's some model information and a scan code. Uh, project logo and then everything is emulated on the other end. These boxes are closed with a white fabric tape. Um, unlike sort of uh, plastic packing tape, it's a little bit more involved in opening it but it's very straightforward. Now, this is an outer freight box, um, enabling a little bit more protection in transit, and also um, the ability, should you end up with freight tickets, tickets and other things on it, of just sort of preserving the look and feel of the box. Now, of course, because this has been fitted with a cartridge, it's sealed closed with some packing tape, as I would assume the original factory seal was opened. There we go. Now in the very top is a large piece of cardboard just designed to uh, protect the things inside from the odd stray craft knife. The next layer starts to reveal some of the accessories. Firstly it's a big pack and it's lovely to see at this point that there's actually a colour brochure. I see the classic. Um, in, the, in the accessories there's all of the things that you'll need and a few other things as well. So firstly, Project's new uh, interconnecting cable. This is a foil screened twisted pair. Um, like many of the products that come with a speed box, they're now um, giving two belts. Now, one is a round belt specifically for when you may be playing 78s, uh, and then a traditional uh, rectangular belt for uh, 33 and 45 playback. Um, hang around, I'll take some photographs and pre-fit this. The 78 belt though, we're not going to use. Um, in it is also a, a basic stylus pressure gauge. Uh, it helps with centering and other things along those lines too. And it sits on a nice little thing, enabling you to um, balance the stylus with ease. Um, there's an anti-skate weight. Now, um, like the X2 that I've just done a box, it has a two-piece approach to this, a little brass screw and the anti-skate weight itself. Um, also in the box, we have a cleaning cloth. Uh, nice to see, it's one of those little microfiber cloths. We've got a, um, some gloves, some white gloves, and um, this is just for the gloss finishes to make sure fingerprints and other things like that don't end up spoiling your finish. There is a tool uh, to help move the belt. Um, uh, given the fact that this is a speed box, perhaps you're not actually going to use that. And then there's a 45 adapter along with an Allen key to tighten any of the small uh, uh, keys that are in the arm itself. You've got um, a spare piece of steel. Now that's um, to go on the uh, end of the arm under the cartridge if you need to require, uh, sorry, you need to add a little bit more weight. And an emulation of the two Allen keys used for uh, setup and balancing. Then the manual itself, including a color tutorial of um, how to get it in and out of the box. Further down, um, you've got the felt mat. That's the last of the accessories on the top. There's another piece of cardboard and it is simply there to protect the lid and ensure that uh, if the accessories move around they can't scratch anything. The lid is supported by uh, some foam packaging. Up close, perhaps in a uh, cardboard, um, folded cardboard protection, this one has foam. Inside a uh, soft cloth bag is the lid. 
beautiful thing. A little bit larger in this model because it is a larger deck. Then, um, so we drill down a little bit, it's the turntable itself. Just putting that off to one side for a moment. So you'll see a few more things going on. The, the foam packaging that now supports the massive platter also hides a few little secrets. It's a very common place for project to put some of the smaller accessories required, some of their heavier items perhaps. And in this instance we've got a couple of feet. So we'll pause and just put those out. So like the previous classic, it had um, a combination aluminium and isolation feet. They're, they're rubberized. So there's a good bit of twist and fit. And that screws into the base of the turntable. There's another one on the opposite side. Very, very straightforward as far as doing those. But obviously, um, please remember to grab these and uh, don't inadvertently throw them away with the packaging. Now on the other side, uh, there's a similar emulation. Firstly, there's a slot here specifically for the power supply. Um, the power supply, as stated, is a New Zealand, uh, well, it's a multi-voltage with a New Zealand adapter uh, that allows 15-volt um, uh, DC. Right. In the next part, we've got the counterweight. Now in this model, like its predecessor, the counterweight is very, very elegant in a polished steel. Like many of their products, the counterweight also has a sorbethane inlay uh, to reduce any potential vibration uh, in any accumulation of that. Um, it's a higher dampening factor and ideal for the turntable. The third and last foot is in the last little scallop. And we can get rid of that. And it's worth mentioning that there's a small amount of grease um, on the foot. Um, now in this particular thing the bag has sort of slopped around a little bit so there's a bit of grease around the foot. So be careful when installing it. You may want to wipe that. And then there is a separate piece of polystyrene supporting the oversized platter. Now, the platter in this model, just sort of drill in a little bit, there's polystyrene supporting the main bearing. The platter itself is in its own soft cloth bag, and with that, the uh, heavy, very, very heavy central spindle, now of course that's driven by the motor, it's adding a significant amount of mass before it even engages with the platter. That, uh, softens that microscopic tug that any motor will give the belt and therefore the platter. And it's excellent to see that they've really thought about that. Then we've got the platter itself. Um, it's heavy, it's milled steel, uh, lathe from a center point so it's beautifully balanced. It features a skin, uh, sorry, a rubber seal throughout and they call that a double something, I don't know. But that is designed to virtually eliminate resonate, resonance off the platter. You can hear that there, absolutely dead. So as we put those sort of things aside, we can now have a look at the deck itself. Now, like its predecessor, uh, now I got this in eucalyptus by the way, this darker colour is, is uh, in my opinion just lovely. Uh, walnut's always been popular but eucalyptus is one of those colours that just makes this deck really striking. And if the option is available in your territory, please consider it because it is just so elegant. Now, just sort of simply rocking this backwards and forwards to very carefully get the last bag off the deck. Uh, being very careful around the arm and cartridge, just in case, as you never want to nick anything. Okay. Now, before I continue too far, what I'm actually going to do is put the feet on. I think it's logical at this point. So rocking it very carefully onto its side, the feet then screw in to the three predetermined locations. Now, 
The thread enables you to level the turntable very, very easily, or lock them in nice and tight and let the, um, the surface deal with it. So we might as well pause and just have a quick look at the base. Okay, sitting, sitting it flat, there's a couple of things that we all need to be aware of before proceeding. There are three screws here that lock this surface down. Underneath this is an O-ring of sorts that is beautifully crafted in a certain shape to ensure beautiful stability of the entire top surface. I won't take those out yet, but I will take this off, which is the second thing you need to be aware of. It's a little um, sticky dot, little clear plastic dot. Its simple purpose is to ensure that the, the bearing cannot have any dust uh, accumulate in it. Now, as far as which way up, let's look. look. Match point there. So this is going to go that way. Straight in. Again, very, very heavy. The belt would normally go around here into the top um, spindle. I'm going to leave it untouched for now. Put the platter on, and then I'll pause and just quietly put this felt mat on, just for cosmetic purposes. It starts to look very much like a turntable and again the colour scheme is very well thought out. The um, counterweight slides on easily and one of the reasons that you're supplied with one of the counter, uh, counterbalance um, uh, scales is because there are no markers on this as far as its, its um, weight or the pressure so you're going to have to use a set of scales to do that. It's very very straightforward, it's already noted in the, in the instruction manual, nice and easy. Um, the lid, like all of the project lids, they have a rear hinge, and it's important that when you slide them on, you just get it lined up nicely. So, there we have it. Project's brand new Classic Evo, so it's a Classic SB Evo, better arm, pre-fitted with a black cartridge on this model. Um, uh, beautiful design, lovely, lovely sound, stable on its feet. Um, O-ring inlay for stability of the platter, um, bearings, all of those things beautifully well thought out and so elegant. Please hang around for some close-up photographs at the end of this video where you'll get to see this um, operational perhaps and uh, some close-up for those bits that I love so much about this one. So here we go, the classic, unboxed here at the Listening Post in Christchurch, New Zealand. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more, subscribe to our channel.